Hi everybody and welcome to Masterclass by Dennis Woodruff. This is part two and today or tonight we're going to be exploring writing a story or a screenplay or maybe just an outline. Now let me tell you a lot of people spend years writing a screenplay some people use novels, etc., that have been very well received, but in actuality, you just need a good idea. I've had options on my screenplay, and I later made the movie myself based on my stories that I created. Sometimes the synopsis is only two or three pages long. I actually sold one of them to um, Hugh Hefner and uh, who's that guy from Kiss? Uh, Gene. Gene, Gene Simmons uh, for $10,000 just based on called The Unknown Actor and it was a story about an unknown actor who comes to Hollywood. Uh, that went around to a lot of people and there were other people that wanted to make that movie. Um, all you need, really, you don't need uh, some, you know, the, the Writers Guild has 100,000 uh, writers that have written screenplays and they have them uh, protected through the Writers Guild of America. And you might be an unknown and you might write a story that might be just as good as theirs. Uh, and you don't even have an agent. But basically, you need to sit down and write a couple pages and have a good story. Uh, my latest idea is about a guy who is obsessed with his dreams. And he believes that his dreams are rea real, a reality, another dimension that is real. And he decides that he's not happy with his life here on the planet, on Earth. And he lays down and goes to sleep and sees if he can alter himself into another dimension and go into this dimension of dreams which is very real uh, a lot of times based on a true story it's amazing to me my dreams seem real and how good they are and it's like little movies and i can go into the details of my dreams but for right now we're going to talk about writing a story you don't need a two or three hundred page screenplay because in reality when I had one nobody wanted to look at it or read it. They look at it but they wouldn't actually take it home and read it. So they're just going to toss it in a pile with all the rest. But if you make something that's small and easy to read and also be careful because there's an old saying if it's really good a lot of times people will copy you and they'll put their name on it. I knew a guy named Vito, who worked as a security guard and stole scripts out of the vault at Paramount, changed the name, he even showed them to me when he first came to Hollywood. And he actually was trying to sell them and he actually got a couple deals until he got caught. And they were actually screenplays that had been written years ago and he changed the name. One was a Western, I don't know the name of it. But he showed me these screenplays. So you don't want to copy anybody else. And you don't want to do sequels. You know, Hollywood has been doing all these sequels, sequels, sequels. Nothing against Spielberg. He's a genius. He's a real master. Uh, but why would you want to make another West Side Story? It's already been done. Try to come up with an original idea that you think of that's never been done before and that might be very creative, original, funny. And also think about what kind of a story you want to tell. Uh, is it a horror film? Is it a happy ending? Is it a bad ending? You might not even know what the ending is going to be. You might just have an idea, of, a good idea for a story. I see a lot of films, some low budget and some big budget, that aren't even well written and they get big, big funding. I don't know how much money. And like uh, they they get made into movies and when reality they're not really that good and all these actors that have been in it get on the talk shows and say how great they are and everybody should see them but in reality you go to these movies 
and you end up getting ripped off and you're not happy with the movies. They're not like they used to do in the old days. You know, I was saying in the old days, a lot of the old movies are much better made. Of course, nowadays we have all these special effects, CGI or whatever it's called, and it's great and all the action and stuff. But uh, they have stuntmen. You don't have to jump out of buildings and do elaborate chase scenes necessarily. You could maybe do those kind of movies, those action movies, later on in your career and write one of those. But in the beginning, a basic story, like the guy next door, somebody in the neighborhood. You might even see an episode of Dateline. Those are true stories about people that have actually been involved in a relationship and then they actually kill the other person to get the money. Uh, why didn't they just get a divorce, you know? But in reality, there's a lot of drama and stories that are going on in real life. And I don't always want to make stories about Hollywood. There's stories that take place around the world, but also when you write a screenplay, the first thing to consider is to keep it simple. Every scene you make, consider what props am I going to need? What locations am I, am I going to need? How many places do I need? How many actors do I need? Keep it simple. You don't have millions of dollars and those movies are harder to get made or sell unless you're somebody or you have some big connections. You know, there was a guy at Sony that finally got fired because he was... Uh, he was buying... He was buying options from actors uh, that were writing screenplays and they never even got made. So, that's another thing. You know, there's a there. It does. You don't always need a literary agent. I had one for a long time, and he didn't. He never sold a screenplay. And uh, his name was Jack Scagnetti. He died, and uh, he actually had Quentin Tarantino, and uh, in his beginning of his career, and he never could get him going. And I always laughed, and I said to Jack, "You should have held on to Mr. Quentin Tarantino. You really would have made a lot of money off him." and you didn't market him the right way. And you know, all these people that have their own business, they think they know it all. In reality, look at the big success Quentin became from his movies and his stories. A lot of times you'll get stories from real life. You could sit down and have a story, maybe something that happened to you that you think is a good story. Um, maybe you know someone that was kidnapped. Maybe you know someone that was held hostage. Maybe you see a, a, a news story that you like. Maybe something that hits home. Something that really moves you. Something that impresses you. Something that you want to tell a story about. Something that's simple. Also, you can use your friends. Your friends can help you. You can write a synopsis and then run it by some of your friends. Try to have friends in Hollywood that have the same interests or similar interests to you. Try to get in different groups where you can talk about stuff and just network and meet people. Don't always think that you're going to get your big break right away. When you come to Hollywood, make sure you have some money in the bank and some su su support so you don't end up homeless on the street panhandling and end up living in a tent like a lot of people. It's very difficult out here, and I'm not going to lie to you. It's very difficult, but it does help. You can actually go to the library and write a screenplay. You don't need a whole screenplay. Just write five to ten pages at the most and make copies of it at your local Kinko's and uh, make some copies and carry them around with you in your car. They also have another thing nowadays where a lot of people like Spielberg and uh, what's that, Imagine Entertainment, I tried to show him my screenplay and he said, oh, contractually I can't accept unsolicited material. I sent stuff to Spielberg and different people, even my picture and resume. And finally, I remember I sent my picture and resume to George Lucas and sent letters and letters. Finally, the secretary said, this was years ago, well, we've gotten all your letters and I have to 
reply to you is that we'll keep you in mind. We know what you're all about. And please don't send any more letters because I have to reply to everyone that we know who you are and we'll keep you in mind. And I never got that call that I wanted. That's the same thing with your screenplay. You might not even get anybody to see it, but always put your phone number, your cell phone number, and your email, and any websites or Facebook or whatever, and put that on. Alert there. from system UI server. Well, Low battery. Alert from com.apple.battery-monitor. Low battery. Well, we got a low battery now, so this is the end of part two, so we'll see you next week for part three.